Hello, this is Professor Frosto, and this Pecha Kucha is an introduction to Module 1, the study of cultural hegemony through international literature. In this module, we'll ex examine how cultural hegemony affects people, and we'll be looking at a novel written about a different era and place. First, let's discuss hegemony. Hegemony is the dominance by a small group over a big group, or a minority having power over a majority. Take a look at these pictures. What do they tell you? How is this hegemony? Now let's dig deeper. Hegemony is also the manufactured consent of the majority to go along with the minority, even when they are wrong. People who oppose hegemonic rule are protesters which can be peaceful, non-violent, or non-vocal but all rebel against hegemony of some sort. As mentioned, we will be discussing cultural hegemony. So like hegemony, cultural hegemony is the cultural dominance of a social group over a smaller social group, but more people are in this group. So cultural hegemony is still being ruled by a few. Where do you see cultural hegemony now? It's not always the cultural differences between countries. Cultural hegemony can exist in families, politics, education, the workplace, and even in churches. Where else might you see cultural hegemony today? For this unit, we will be traveling back in time to India in 1941 when World War II was being waged. In this picture, you can observe how much larger India was in 1940 compared to its size now. Do you think that cultural hegemony could have been at play here? How so? In the 1940s, India was fighting two wars. The first was with the British, who were the ruling class. India wanted to be in control of its own country. The second was World War II, where Indians joined the British to army to fight against Hitler and the Nazis and Japan. Education at this time was as one might expect. Girls and boys didn't attend school together. Education typically ended earlier for girls than boys. Boys were encouraged to go to college if their families could afford it, and this was considered prestigious. The reason why most girls ended their education early is because they were expected to marry young and start a family. However, few girls did go to college and female students had difficulties being taken seriously. Is this a form of cultural hegemony? Padma Venkatraman's Climbing the Stairs is the book where we will be exploring all of these topics. Climbing the Stairs is an international literature book in the young adult category. As you read, form connections about the cultural hegemony you see and where they exist in the novel. The main character is a girl named Vidya. Something happens to Vidya's family and they are forced to live in her paternal grandfather's home. Segregation and abuse happens, but also in special places and relationships are formed. Remember to make cultural hegemonic connections. In this unit, students will blog to each other about the assigned chapters. Make sure you review the rubric and directions posted on Blackboard. Then students will write a journal entry to me about the chapters because I want to hear more about the connections you are forming. Additionally, every week, students will participate in a Harkness discussion. We will be watching a video that will explain more about these events later. You get to choose the topics you want to discuss from the assigned chapters, and through collaborative learning, you will have a better understanding of what cultural hegemony is. As a final project for this unit, our department requires you to write an essay that will give you an opportunity to demonstrate the knowledge you have gained in this unit. You will write a comparative analysis essay by picking two cultural hegemonic topics and show how they are similar. 
We will break down the writing process and begin with brainstorming through free writing and then use the best parts to create bubble maps where you can choose which comparisons of your ideas you want to explore and examine in essay form. Another part of the writing process is the creation of the seven major sentences. It is important to realize that the seven major sentences do not constitute a paragraph, but rather they are seven sentences spread throughout your essay. We will begin with a very rough draft of putting these ideas together in essay form. Then, because writing is recursive, you'll keep working with me to build better drafts. Some students may need to get additional help from tutors in the learning lab. The last step in the writing process is peer review. Everyone will take a turn at reading someone's paper and provide feedback and minor corrections. This is your chance to help your classmate explain something better or tell them they are doing a great job. Lastly, you will consider all feedback and corrections. Fix what you think should be fixed and submit through the portal on Blackboard. Please be sure to click the Submit button. Remember that this unit is a collaborative study on cultural hegemony through the use of international literature. I look forward to your blogs, journals, Harkness discussions, and essays. I hope you enjoyed this presentation. See you in class!